Hi friends, Pastor Philip here with Morning Devotions. And I've been reading the letter of 1 John. And I wrote a post based on 1 John chapter 3, verses 18 through 20. And it really spoke to me, and it's about love. Have you ever been in a spot when you don't feel as loving towards someone as you used to? Well, I have. And this is a piece I wrote called, Love is What You Do. 1 John 3, 18 through 20 says this. John writes, Little children, we must not love in word or speech, but in deed and truth. That is how we will know we are of the truth and will convince our hearts in His presence. Because if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and knows all things. It's easy to do loving things for people when we feel loving towards them. A smile, a gift, a hug, or a kind word, an act of service, or some quality time. These are all things we enjoy when our hearts feel drawn and connected to someone. But what about when we feel distant, disappointed, or dissatisfied? What about when we've lost that love and feeling, as an old song says? We must love anyway. See, here's the freeing truth of the matter. You don't have to feel what love feels to do what love does. In fact, usually the greatest examples of love are actions taken on behalf of another that didn't feel particularly good at the time. In fact, John illustrates this just a few sentences back when he writes about Jesus. He says in verse 16a, This is how we have come to know love. He laid down his life for us. So, when your heart turns against you for not feeling loving all the time, when you feel guilty about that, worried about that, concerned about that, just ask yourself this, what are you doing? If you're doing the things love does, sacrificing your preferences, serving in ways that matter to the people around you, giving of yourself, what's well, a clear sign that you're okay? Don't let your emotions be the barometer of your commitment. Do what love does, and in time, most likely, you'll feel those loving feelings once again. I hope that's an encouragement to you, friends. And as always, until next time, I'm Pastor Philip. We'll see you then.